Um, seriously? Can you believe this? I can't even begin to fathom how you could treat my brother like this. I mean, come on. You cheated on him. How could you stoop so low? Do you have any idea how much Jason trusts you? And now, instead of showing remorse or taking responsibility, you react like this? It's beyond pathetic. Oh, for the love of all that's annoying. What in the world are you blabbering about? I seriously can't make heads or tails of your nonsensical rant. Who cheated on whom? Huh? Can you enlighten me with your oh-so-clear explanation? Arg. You're doing it again. Playing dumb and acting all innocent, like you have no clue what I'm talking about. Spare me the act, please. I have absolutely zero interest in engaging in your mind-numbingly stupid games, especially with you. I'm just asking. You're being ridiculous, don't you know that? So could you just please tell me what I've done wrong, actually? Oh right, if you still want to act ignorant like that, then I'll just spit it out to you. And I will enlighten you with the truth. Yeah yeah, whatever it is. What's it anyway? Okay, then embrace yourself and check this out. What is this? Is it a DNA test? Yes, it's your child's DNA test result. Look at the bottom of it and see the result. Jason's not the child's father. Wait what? How could you gather enough information for the test? Are you stalking us to get the samples? You're so weird, really. Weird? Yeah, you're right. I'm weird, what's wrong with that anyway? I don't even care a little about it. Let me tell you, it's me who stole Jason and your child's hair samples. And I brought it to the hospital to test its DNA. But, why? Why would you do something like this to me? I'm your sister-in-law, for crying out loud. Shouldn't you be a little kinder and more understanding to your own family? This is just unbelievable. Oh, don't act so surprised. Haven't you ever wondered why I'm so jealous of you? Well, wonder no more. Prepare yourself for a dose of reality. You, my dear Emily, always go about acting like the perfect little angel in this household. And do you know what that makes me? The eternal black sheep of the family, that's what. I'm the one who constantly receives criticism and judgment from our lovely in-laws. I understand that you may feel that way, Lily. But instead of addressing the issue with our family or finding a way to resolve it together, you decide to take it out on me? That's just absurd and, dare I say, utterly ridiculous. Oh, please. Spare me your righteous indignation. It's not about putting all the blame on you. It's about highlighting the unfairness I've experienced in this household. I've made countless efforts to support this family, Emily. Countless. Yet, I'm always the one who ends up being criticized and overlooked. It's downright unfair, don't you think? I'm sorry if you feel that way, Lily. But taking your frustrations out on me won't solve anything. We should be working together to address the underlying issues within our family dynamics. Blaming me for your unhappiness is not only unfair but counterproductive. We need to find a way to communicate and resolve our grievances without causing further harm to ourselves and those around us. Oh, don't you worry. I fully intend to address the issues within our family. And part of that process involves expressing my feelings, even if it means confronting you directly. It's not just about pleasing the in-law family. It's about seeking justice for myself and finding a sense of belonging. Maybe if you took a moment to step out of your perfect girl persona, you'd understand the weight of my frustrations. I never claimed to be perfect, Lai. We all have our flaws and struggles. But using me as a scapegoat for your own dissatisfaction is not the solution. We can work together to create a healthier family dynamic, but it requires understanding and empathy from both sides. Let's find a way to address our grievances constructively rather than resorting to blame and animosity. Blah, 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 what are you talking about? I'm not hearing clearly. Just get to the main part. Your life's doomed. This paper will ruin your life. Totally. It's for sure. How dare you cheat my brother like that? This test will take him aback. Then, he'll certainly kick you out of here. And I'll come back to my own place. I should be the one to receive all the love, care, and affection of others. Not you. I just can't imagine that you could feel so hostile to me. I never want this to happen. I've never meant to steal anything from you. Before pointing fingers to others, 
why don't you look back at yourself? I have to say that what you're doing is evil, selfish and heartless. Well, at least, my child's DNA is correct. It suits perfectly with that of James. But I'm sad when thinking about Jason. His life's already miserable enough. Ever since you entered, you just messed up everything and made it worse and worse. Don't you think so? What? I messed up everything? Are you kidding me? Actually, I am the one who dealt with all the mess you created. Remember that time you went into a serious debt and I had to withdraw my saving budget to help you out? And remember that day. Okay, that's enough. I've had enough. Stop. It's just normal things that families must do for each other. I'm not owing you anything, got it? And right now, I'm gonna bring this to Jason. Guess how will he feel just then? Later that night. Hey, Jason, there's something really important that I need to talk to you about. It's urgent, so could you please wake up and give me a moment? I promise I won't take up too much of your time. Of course, babe. I'm all ears. What's the urgent matter? Well, it's about your sister Lily. Lately, she's been pushing me to my limits. She's driving me absolutely crazy. Lily? What's going on with her? Why is she causing you so much trouble? It's like she's made it her mission to find ways to mess with me and humiliate me. I can't even begin to explain the lengths she's gone to. You won't believe this, but she actually collected samples of your hair and our son's hair. And guess what she did next? She took them to the hospital to get them tested for DNA. Whoa, hold on a second. Are you serious? That's, that's just insane. Why would she do something like that? I wish I had an answer for you. It's beyond me. It seems like she's determined to make my life a living hell. I don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of treatment from her. This is really messed up. I can't believe Lily would go to such extremes. It's one thing to have some disagreements or sibling rivalry, but this is on a whole different level. We need to address this and put a stop to her behavior. I completely agree. It's not healthy for any of us. I just wanted to bring it to your attention because it's been weighing heavily on me. I think it's time we have a serious conversation with Lily and try to understand what's behind all this animosity. Maybe we can find a way to resolve things and restore some peace within the family. Absolutely. But what's the result anyway? I mean, I can't even wrap my head around the fact that there might be some doubt about Billy being my son. It's been eating away at me ever since you brought it up. So, please, tell me what the DNA test says. Well, Jason, brace yourself because the result shows that you're not little Billy's father. I know it's a shock, and trust me, it's been weighing heavily on me too. But here's the thing, I truly believe that the result is terribly wrong. It just doesn't add up. Seriously? This can't be happening. I've been there for Billy since day one. I've loved him, cared for him, and treated him as my own. The bond between us is undeniable. How can the DNA test say otherwise? I can't help but feel a mix of confusion, anger, and disbelief right now. Jason, I understand your reaction completely. It's a lot to take in, and it's natural to question everything. But here's what I think happened. Lily also got a DNA test for her child, right? Well, I believe she must have mixed up the two papers and accidentally gave me her result instead of yours. It's the only logical explanation. Oh my god, are you for real? This is like a plot twist in a soap opera. I don't know who to believe anymore. I know it sounds unbelievable but I swear I'm telling the truth. I was just as shocked when I saw the result. I can't imagine how you must be feeling right now. But think about it, does it make any sense that you're not Billy's father? You've been there for him since day one, loving and caring for him like your own. I've seen the bond between you two, and it's undeniable. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. It's just so hard to believe that Lily would make such a mistake. But if what you're saying is true, then it's a huge relief. I couldn't bear the thought of not being Billy's father after all these years. We need to talk to Lily and get this sorted out immediately. I can't let this uncertainty linger any longer. I understand your feelings. It's a lot to process, and I can only imagine the emotions running through you right now. But let's approach Lily with empathy and understanding. If it was indeed a mix-up with the DNA test results, it's important to give her the opportunity to explain and rectify the situation. We don't want to jump to conclusions or make any hasty judgments. You're right. We need to handle this situation delicately. It's crucial to maintain open lines of communication and work towards a resolution that's in the best interest of everyone involved, 
especially Billy. We owe it to him to have a calm and rational conversation with Lily and give her a chance to clarify everything. Absolutely. Billy's well-being is our top priority. We need to create a safe and supportive environment for him throughout this process. It's important to remember that family is built on love, trust, and understanding. We'll get through this together, no matter what the outcome may be. Thank you for being by my side and helping me navigate through this confusing time. I don't know what I would do without your support. Let's gather our thoughts and approach Lily when we're both ready. We'll approach this conversation with an open mind and a willingness to find a solution that brings peace back into our family. You're welcome. I'm here for you every step of the way. Together, we'll face whatever challenges come our way and emerge stronger as a family. Remember, we're a team and we'll tackle this situation with love and understanding. Let's take some time to process our thoughts and emotions, and when we're ready, we'll have that conversation with Lily. I believe in us, Jason. We can find a way to restore peace and harmony within our family. Two days later. Oh my gosh, Emily. I've been trying to reach you forever. Can you believe what you've done? Seriously, how could you do this to me, your own sister? Ugh, it's like a nightmare. Um, hi, Lily. Can you please calm down a bit? I have no idea what you're babbling about. Could you just, like, use actual words and explain yourself? Ugh, you're so dense. I can't even be with you right now. It's like talking to a brick wall. I need answers, and I need them now. Don't even think about getting away with this, you sneaky little troublemaker. Hold your horses. Jeez, why are you being so dramatic? I can barely understand what you're even saying. And by the way, calling me a crooked brat is totally uncalled for. You should know better than to use such rude language. Oh, spare me. I couldn't care less about your hurt feelings. Just spill the beans already. I don't have all day to waste on your clueless act. Lily, I have no clue what you're accusing me of. Instead of attacking me, why don't you try explaining yourself like a normal person? It might actually get us somewhere. Oh, now you're playing dumb? I can't believe you're trying to act innocent after what you've done. You think you can just brush it off and pretend like nothing happened? Well, let me tell you, sister, it's not going to work this time. Seriously, I have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe you should take a deep breath and calm down before jumping to conclusions. You're overreacting big time. Overreacting? Me? Oh no, you don't get it. I have every right to be upset. You know how important this is to me, and yet you go ahead and mess it all up. If you would just tell me what I supposedly did, we could have a rational conversation about it. But you're too busy throwing accusations and insults around. It's hard to have a meaningful discussion when you're being so unreasonable. Unreasonable? Ha! Huh. Coming from a person who can't even own up to their mistakes. Fine, if you want me to spell it out for you, here it is. Why did you be heartless as to force Jason to tell Ken about the DNA test? Aw, uh, about that, you mean? Well, if we're going to play the blame game, let's not forget that you were the one who started this whole mess. You thought you could plot against me, but guess what? I'm just giving you a taste of your own medicine. Fair now? Oh, please. It's unbelievable. Why did you have to act so cruelly like that? You just can't keep your mouth shut for a single second, right? And you are even brave enough to manipulate Jason to talk with Ken. Talk about a shocking revelation. You really thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? I'm not manipulating anyone. It's your fault, and I'm just revealing it to everyone. Is that wrong? I think that Ken and other people in the family really would really want to know about that, right? Ugh, you scumbag. I can't believe I ever allowed you into my life. It was a terrible mistake, and now I'm paying the price for it. I should have known better than to trust someone like you. If only I had seen through your lies from the very beginning. Whoa, 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 hold on a minute. Are you seriously suggesting that you want to destroy my life? That you've been harboring these malicious thoughts towards me? That's beyond messed up. I can't believe the venom that's coming out of your mouth right now. Do you even hear yourself? And just look at you. How could you possibly have the nerve to humiliate me? You have no right. Who are you to blame everything on me like that? Let's not forget about your own dirty laundry. You cheated on your own husband, betraying his trust and breaking your marriage vows. 
And let's not even get started on how you tried to ruin the life of your own sister-in-law. Talk about a hypocrite. Aren't you afraid of karma? Because I would be if I were you. The universe has a funny way of bringing consequences back around. You might want to think twice before casting stones at others. Ugh, save your self-righteous act. You're so good at throwing dirt on other people's faces, aren't you? But let me remind you that you're no saint yourself. Don't act all innocent and victimized. You've played your fair share of games and hurt people along the way. Oh, please, don't try to deflect the blame onto me. I may not be perfect, but at least I don't go around pretending to be something I'm not. Unlike you, I don't hide behind a facade of righteousness while engaging in deceitful acts. You're nothing but a sly, selfish, dangerous fox. You know nothing but harming and taking advantage of others. I'll never forgive you for that. Listen here, you wanna harm me first, so don't be surprised if I get back in your face. OMG, you're different now. You even know how to drag people down, don't you? Oh, it's hard to imagine such a nice sister-in-law becoming this cunning and stupid also. Blah blah blah, I don't wanna hear a single word from you anymore. You'll just make me crazy. What? How dare you? I'm still your sister-in-law. No matter how many times I wanted to harm you, I'm still the one that you should look up to. Oh really? Stop that silly talk. Tomorrow, things will completely change. What do you really mean? Wait for it. Three days later. Hey, Lily. So, how's it going, now that you're out of the house and all? Must be pretty disappointing and humiliating, huh? Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? You still have the nerve to talk to me like this? Are you seriously making fun of me? Ugh, sometimes you can be such a clueless brat. Yeah, I'm not joking around. I mean every word of it. It's just karma coming back to bite you, you know? You cheated on Ken and then had the audacity to try and blame everything on me. That's not cool, and you deserve to face the consequences. OMG, no, you're not saying that to your sister-in-law. I know not everyone is perfect. We've all messed up at some point. But what you did was on a whole other level. You betrayed Ken's trust, and then you tried to shift the blame onto me. That's not something I can just let slide. So yeah, you're gonna have to face the music. Well, I hope you're enjoying this little show because that's all it is to you, isn't it? You're just standing there, reveling in my misery. But trust me, I won't let you get away with this. And I was just making some mistakes. How could you be such a stupid scheming fox? Oh, please. Don't act like you're some heroic survivor in all of this. You made your bed, and now you have to lie in it. I'm not here to watch your life fall apart, I'm just not going to sympathize with your choices. Maybe this will be a wake-up call for you to start making better decisions. No, no, no. This seriously can't be happening to me. I can't believe I'm being thrown out like this. It's such a stupid shame. I never thought things would escalate to this point. I mean, come on, it was all just a joke, really. A joke? Are you kidding me? This is far from a joke. You showed me that DNA test with both our names on it, and the results were crystal clear. It clearly stated that Ken is not the father of the child. So, what do you have to say for yourself now? Well, um, I'm really sorry. I admit it was one of my stupid mistakes. I never should have played around with something so serious. I didn't fully comprehend the consequences of my actions, and now I'm paying the price. I truly am sorry for what I've put you through. Sorry? That's all you have to say? This goes way beyond a simple apology. You toyed with my emotions, deceived me, and caused so much turmoil. Ken and this whole family trusted you, and you betrayed that trust. I don't know if I can ever put up with your attitude any longer. Oh, Emily, please, I know I messed up. I'm fully aware that I'm in the wrong. I cheated on my husband and had a child with my colleague, and I can't even begin to express how sorry I am. I want you to understand that I never intended for any of this to happen. It's just that in that moment, I was feeling so vulnerable and neglected. Ken seemed distant and uninterested in me, and I found solace in the attention and care that my colleague showed me. It felt like he truly understood and valued me. But I'm not trying to justify my actions, Emily. I'm begging you to see that I was weak. I made a terrible mistake. I'm consumed with guilt and regret now, and it's eating me up inside. So you decided to cheat on Ken, and even had a child with your mistress? Wow, you two were really brave, weren't you? How could you have the nerve to do that? When Ken was working his ass off to serve you money and stuff, didn't you feel guilty? 
even just a little bit? Emily, please, I know I messed up, and I understand why you might feel angry and disappointed in me, but can't you find it in your heart to try and understand me? I'm genuinely sorry for what I've done, and I'm filled with regret. I'm begging you to talk to Ken and his mother on my behalf. I know they want to throw me out, but please try to persuade them to give me another chance. I have nowhere else to go right now, and it's so dark and scary out there. I can't bear the thought of being homeless. Please, I'm begging you for mercy. I don't deserve to be cast aside like this, like a dog. It's humiliating and heartbreaking. Just imagine what my family and friends will think of me. The whole neighborhood will laugh and ridicule me, calling me a useless scumbag. Have you ever thought about the shame I'll have to endure? I have no one else to rely on. I'm all alone in this world, and you're my last hope. My husband and in-laws have abandoned me, leaving me out in the cold, literally and figuratively. You're the only one who can save me from this desperate situation. Please, you've got to do something. Oh, poor you. It must be so sad and lonely for you right now, isn't it? Well, I would love to help you, but when I think about it again, it seems like you're getting exactly what you deserve. What do you expect us to do with an unfaithful and cunning wife like you? You betrayed your husband, had a child with another man, and now you come begging for sympathy and support? It's hard to find any ounce of compassion when you've caused such pain and turmoil. You need to face the consequences of your actions. Begging for mercy won't erase the hurt you've inflicted. Maybe this is a wake-up call for you to truly understand the gravity of your choices. It's time to reflect on your behavior and take responsibility for the mess you've created. Well, that's all I have to say. Guess I'll say goodbye for now. Take care. No, don't shut the door. Please. Emily. After that, Lily made relentless attempts to contact me, desperately seeking forgiveness. She repeatedly called me, but I had already taken the step of blocking her from all forms of communication, including her phone number. I needed time and space to heal from the betrayal and couldn't bear to listen to her pleas any longer. To add to Lily's troubles, Ken, Jason's brother, also decided to divorce her and cut off all ties. This came as a shocking and devastating blow to her. I can only imagine the humiliation and heartbreak she must have felt, losing not just her husband but also her connection to Jason's family. In her desperation, Lily even went as far as visiting our home and causing a chaotic scene. It was clear that she had completely lost control and her sanity. The situation escalated to the point where involving the police became necessary to restore order and ensure our safety. It's not hard to understand why Lily acted the way she did. When you suddenly lose everything you had, the shock and despair can push a person to their limits. It serves as a painful reminder of the consequences of her actions and the significant challenges she now faces. On a more positive note, Jason and I managed to rebuild our lives and find happiness together, along with our child. Luckily, I was able to share the truth of what happened with my family and address any misunderstandings that may have arisen. It took time, effort, and open communication, but we were able to regain their trust and strengthen our relationships once again.